Hello everyone, I'm Tyler Pyburn of The Pulse Network, here with Richard Tolley, the CEO and Chairman That's of right. OMG. Now Richard, one of the things I'm kind of anxious to know, you hear OMG, you hear so many different acronyms out there. What exactly does it mean? Well first I'd like to say we had the acronym OMG before the teenage girls had okay, the Okay, fair OMG. enough. <laughs> so it stands for Object Management Group and we have a background since 1989 of building standards with our members now between four and 500 members in the middleware space, in the distributed computing space, in the modeling space, and since 1996, in about 25 different vertical markets, healthcare, finance, telecommunications, manufacturing, and so forth. Okay, tell me a little bit what you guys do. So you work with standards, kind of expand upon that a little bit more for me. Well, standards aren't the be all to end all. Standards okay. are the first step towards building a real market. What you, what you want is not actually standards. Standards aren't worth the bits on the, on the, on the disk or, the, or yep. the ink on the paper. What you care about is building a marketplace with commercial implementations, open source implementations, with certification and training and university education to make sure that people can actually make use of technical standards to solve real problems in their organizations, their agencies, their companies, uh, their organizations, whatever their problems might be in building systems that work together. That's what we do. We bring together our four or five hundred members, half end users, half vendors. I was going to say, who are the, the members? When you talk about those four or five hundred members, who actually are the members themselves? It's a great question because there's so many organizations, especially a lot of the organizations that were started in the late 80s that don't exist today, that didn't focus on the whole ecosystem, that were just vendors delivering systems that end users didn't actually need, or just end users developing requirements that vendors couldn't supply. We bring together half our members, vendors, half our members, end users, and government agencies and universities to figure out what those requirements are to build systems that interoperate. Then we send those out to industry to come back and say, tell us, what can you build that solves that problem? And our members together, users and vendors, mm -hmm. decide what the standard is going to be. Our members are all over the world. As I say, between four or five hundred yep. of them, uh, they are not only uh, Oracle and Microsoft and HP and Hitachi and Fujitsu and, and Talis and so forth, but also major defense contractors and manufacturers and banks and transportation companies and so forth. Because the requirements come not just from the vendors, but from the users. Mm -hmm. The solutions come not just from the users, but the vendors. I see. So yeah, they have to work with one another in a sense. Absolutely. They really do. So, talk a little bit to, to the vertical aspect a little bit more. I'm kind of anxious to know more about that. So we started in this sort of horizontal structure of focusing on middleware, real-time and embedded okay. systems and modeling. And then we realized we could apply the same solution, the same way of getting two standards in vertical markets. We started with healthcare, financial uh, financial systems, manufacturing and transportation systems, uh, telecommunication systems, okay. very quickly moved into transportation systems and life sciences systems. We now do standards in vertical markets that include smart, uh, smart electricity grid systems. Um, we've just started in the last year standards in, uh, in uh, safety engineering for, uh, uh, for consumer electronics like automobiles mm -hmm. and home electronics and so forth. It turns out you can apply that same solution of bringing together the end users and vendors to deliver solutions in many different markets. Nowadays, 85% of all OMG standards are actually in about 25 vertical markets rather than the middleware and modeling and real-time and embedded systems where we still develop solutions, but most of our focus is now in those vertical markets. Okay, so let's go back to the members and take me as a non-member basically and say I'm the end user. Pitch me. Why do I actually want to be part of OMG? So end users obviously depend on standards. They know they depend on standards and they yep. realize that standards come from several different places. Some are forced on them by vendors, yep. well, some just a, a, occur in the marketplace. The reality is end users are in the perfect position to drive the requirements into those standards that become those products so that when the products arrive uh, on the marketplace, arrive in my office, I know they're usable. I'm not wasting a lot of time trying to figure out how they work. Um, whether they meet my requirements and, and how to use them in my everyday uh, solutions pr provision. Because I've been involved from day one, I've worked directly with the vendor uh, expert, technical experts that develop those standards. I know my requirements and priorities showed up in those standards and I can save a lot of money, a lot of time in delivering systems uh, that meet my needs without having to fuss with standards that were not designed about my, around my requirements. So, so how do I actually get involved? I mean, do I have to meet a prereq? How, how do I actually go about saying, hey, I want to be part of this? So anyone can participate in OMG standards, and we have companies from $120 billion a year in revenue down to single-person companies uh, with, uh, that, that, that provide services to their customers. All you got to do is come and participate. Okay. Most of the work is happening, obviously, these days. It's the 21st century. Most of the work is happening on wikis and by yep. telephone and, and WebExes and so forth. But it's critically important, actually, 
and a very good way to find out what standards work is underway to come to one of our quarterly meetings. Those quarterly meetings are held wherever our members are, uh, and we bring together anywhere between 200 and 750 of our members to okay. work on any of the 100 or so standards development processes that are underway today. Uh, or non-standards processes, best practices, development in cloud computing, service-oriented architecture, business process modeling, uh, and, and complex event processing, and so forth. So coming to those quarterly meetings is a great way to get inserted into the process quickly. Mm -hmm. It's not required since most of the work happens uh, electronically. Okay, so for me, where do I go to find out more? So again, you've pitched me. You want me to go to these different meetings. This is great. I'm there. No questions asked. Where do I go to find out more? You can find out more, obviously, on our website, www.omg.org. That's the best way to see what standards are underway, how to become a member, what the different rights of the different levels of membership are, who's participating, and some great case studies of organizations that have joined OMG and either made a lot of money or saved a lot of time and money developing solutions for their customers and internally for themselves based on OMG standards. Excellent stuff. I love it. Richard, honestly, thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Excellent stuff indeed. He is Richard Soley of OMG. Remember, take a look at www.omg.org to find out more. For Richard, I'm Tyler Pablo of the Pulse Network. I want to thank you guys so much for being part of our conversation.